Thank you to Cassandra Suntiger and Ruby Gloomwatcher for being constant supporters on my coffee account. Uh, I'm going to be making a point of giving you each a shout out for being so wonderful and supporting my channel. Also, for those of you interested, some of these crazy people decided to make a seriously awesome joke and I turned that joke into a Discord. <laughs> you can find the link in the description below. Uh, finally, I'm going to be hosting a small competition for all artists on Instagram or DeviantArt. And essentially, you just have to paint a feature you would very much like to see in the game that I am reviewing today, which is the Tales of Rain Ravine. Simply go on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, just at me and just remember to put in the hashtag Rain Ravine Rattle. So that's hashtag Rain Ravine Rattle and just remember to at me on Instagram. I'll have all of the information down below. The best featured art or the best uh, ideas and art combinations I will be featuring in the next video I'm going to be doing about this Rain Ravine game. Anyway, so I hope you guys uh, look forward to that and thank you all so much for supporting this channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Good morning everyone and welcome to another edition of Squeak Play. This is my second time recording because the game crashed. Not the game actually, my computer just went clack. So I have to redo this all. I have done some of it so I'm trying to show it to you guys a little bit. I'm just going to give my thoughts as we play this time around. But this game is a kind of a brand new game that's been making the rounds. This is the second demo that they've released for it. And the game's name is Tales of Rain Ravine. The game is going to be a competition heavy focused game with some story elements to it but the carrying of the horse and uh, you know stuff like breeding and such will not necessarily be part of the game at this point in time. It's mostly going to be story, competitions and just exploring this absolutely gorgeous world I have in front of me. I'm very excited for it so let's see what the game has to offer. Well let me show you what the game has to offer. So here in game settings, uh, you have this option to select realistic show jumping and then you have some graphic options. The realistic jumping is essentially that you can hit space when the horse is in the correct position. I quite like that. That gives an air of realism to the game. Then here on the left, you have some graphical uh, options you can choose. Yeah, so we can just get into that. Okay, so let's say start writing and writing lesson. We're going to start, like I said, I've already done it. The game crashed, but I really want to show you guys what the game is. I'm just going to give my thoughts as we move forward. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any funny accents today. <laughs> uh, just going to show you guys how the game... I'm Van der Waal, by the way, for those of you wondering how to pronounce that. That's not Van der Waal, it's Van der Waal. Uh, so I'm apparently family from some kind of upper echelon epic writer, but I am, yeah, I'm not that person. I am, I am a daughter of that person. So don't be strange. And they got some swear words in there. It's clearly for adults. Uh, I hope they do make an option that we can filter those out because I know even when they say it's made for adults, it's still going to be kids playing it. Even if they say they make it for kids, adults are still going to be playing it. If a game appeals, it's gonna it's gonna drive people. So first thing that I'm gonna say, the models are beautiful. I have a lot I can appreciate about it. I like that touch, you know, that the horses hooves actually makes indents. If I was like a lot younger, I would have played and replayed and replayed the section over and over and over again. I like the fact that the back legs drag, but that becomes a problem later with the animations, which I'll show you later. What I also like is if I push forward, the horse actually, you know, goes like Oh, sorry, all right. Goes like faster, and if I pull back, the horse's ears actually pull back and the horse goes down, slows down. That's very stunning and very realistic. And what I also like is the movement of the hand. So you're gonna see this right now, I'm gonna show it at the top. It's so cool. So when I pull to the right, the horse's the hand moves out and the horse actually moves as well. And that's also gonna be happening on the left hand side. That's actually really cool. It does add a level of rhythm. This is obviously not the way it really works. The way that you really ride is your hands are kept at your sides at all times. And you actually just move your fingers to get the horse or just move your arm a little bit backwards. Uh, that keeps you balanced and keeps you centered in the saddle. Bring the horse down to a stop. Now I can walk again. Turn left. So we're going to do that again. It's quite nice. Turn right. Of course I'm getting the hang of this. I'm amazing. 
I quite like the horse. His name is Milo. It's a pretty horse. And look at that area outside. I cannot wait to start exploring that. And I'm done. That's the first lesson. It really does feel like a first lesson. Maybe a little short, but yeah. Alright, so I'm going to skip advanced turning. And I'm going to go to gates. Because I can explain to you what happens in gates with advanced turning. Essentially, you're actually using legs to turn the horse. Which is really cool. So I'm going to show you what that has. Okay, so I'm going to walk. I'm going to explain to you as I go a moment. So I actually hit both my legs. Look at the legs. I move both my legs. And then the horse starts moving, and then I can push forward to extend the trot. Look at that. That actually goes a lot faster. So I'm going to show you now what I mean by the turning. You're using your arm and your leg. So you use the outside leg to turn the horse. So if you hit right, then you use the left leg, and the horse turns faster. Stuff like that. You know, that's, that's pretty realistic for a horse game. And uh, I'm quite excited about that. I want to see if that's going to be worked into dressage and stuff like that although dressage is something they're looking to implement currently it's only going to be cross country and uh and show jumping so we're gonna see if we get dressage but you know don't don't expect it it's not necessarily going to be part of the game oh it's pretty so pretty so pretty now this is pretty the the back legs here start to fall apart a little bit So I have to push it forward until it goes into a working counter. Here it becomes a little stiff, the animation. But it's still good. It's still good. So I'm going to take a sharper turn. See with the leg. It does feel like the horse will be falling in on itself at this point, which is kind of weird. Horses don't turn that sharply. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to do a working counter. I'm going to change my leg. Uh, how do I do that again? There we go. I'm changing the leg. Uh, working and working and. Uh... Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> I can't remember how to turn fast though. All right, there we go. Yeah, it it takes actually a little bit of skill, which is also pretty cool. So now I have to go into long canter, extended canter, technically. Again, this feels like a motorbike a little bit. <laughs> Go back to short canter. This all actually is preparing you for doing jumping, which is also pretty cool. Right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, Milo. I am, I'm motorbike. I am motorbike. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not being too harsh on the game. It's, it's still in early stages. They, you know, they're working hard on it. I'm just, I'm just having a little fun. So don't, don't think I'm criticizing the game. It's really just having a little bit of fun. I love the transitioning. It's all very good. It's really very good. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Now it is first time jumping. Yes, well, not really nervous. Milo has 19 years of experience, so take a few rounds of trot for me, please. You can pretty trot around the arena while I explain jumping. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. They say, <laughs> gotta get those grandpa muscles working. How do you jump? Contrary to what a lot of non-equestrian thinks, you cannot just ask your horse to jump randomly wherever. In order to jump, your horse needs to know and see that there's a fence in front of it. What's really cool, the horse is actually going to give me a physical cue that he's seeing the jump. I'm going to show this to you now. Okay, so each horse is different, essentially, what they're saying, which is actually pretty cool. Every horse that you're going to ride is going to be a little bit different. So here we go. We're going to do our first jump. Let me see if... I, look, see, that's the physical cue. The horse is showing me that he's seeing the jump. So I'm going to have to hit space at that point. Got it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Ah, it feels so good. Yeah. Let's try a few more cavalettis. Cavalettis. And jump. Got it. The jump is a little still, you know, it, it still needs a little polish, but it's looking good so far, I think. I mean, I can't do that, so I'm probably... Actually, no, that looks pretty good, now that I look at it again. Let me see, look at it like this. Yeah, no, that's... Oh, bad striding. Whoopsie, oops. Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to, well, 
second try. <laughs> so let's do free riding. Uh, we're gonna do... I want to show you Rose because this is pretty cool. Rose gets excitable and that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. All right, so let's do... Um... Oh, that's dressage arena, that's cool. Uh, okay, let's do jumps four, and then we're gonna do apply. Let's do it 100. They're gonna show you this. This is really cool. So, Milo is pretty tame, he's pretty calm, but this horse actually picks up speed. I'm gonna show you what I mean. See, I'm, I'm not pushing anything. She's instantly kind of starting to, to, you know, pick up her speed. <laughs> And I like that. <laughs> I like the fact that she's a little fiery. You know, oops. So I'm gonna have to see if I can keep her. Uh, uh, no, no, she gets really ex. Oof. Uh, let's take it lower. Oof. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I can actually lower it. Let's go make it a little lower. I think I'm. I think I might have gotten a little too high for her. <laughs> let's just make it a little lower. Okay, um, okay, stop, 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 there we go. Okay, so we're gonna apply, let's make it like 70 centimeters, yeah, let's make it a little smaller, I think I may have just done it a little bit too... Okay, here we go. Let's try this jump, we're gonna see if we can do one jump with her. Uh, and go! Yeah, yeah, got it! <laughs> and it does feel like an achievement, I love it. I love that it feels like an achievement when I jump these jumps. She speeds up when she sees a jump. It's... There we go. Yes! Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. She's my she's my horse. I'm enjoying Rose. Hope I can create my own horse in this game. It's going to be so cool. Oh, ease up. Ease up, girl. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Come on. Up. Oh, yeah! We're going to clear this thing. <laughs> Having a lot of fun, in case you guys can't tell. <gasps> no. no! That was good. That was really good. Alright, so let's see if I can try this double. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I knocked a ball. Damn, four penalties. <laughs> but anyway, I think you guys got the idea. This is a really, really fun game. It takes a bit of skill to get used to, which is awesome. Especially with Rose. She is super excitable. The second she sees a jump, she just wants to go. And I love it. 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 Let's see if I can do the treble combination. Yeah. Okay, we're going to end it there. That was freaking amazing. <laughs> All right, great game. Great demo. So looking forward to what she's going to do next. Uh... Oh, this was amazing. I'm really loving this. <laughs> I want to see what she does next. Let's hope it, uh, it's, I think she can only go higher and higher and higher at this point. Well done to the team for doing this. It's amazing. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to what comes next. Thank you. Thank you for making this. Even if you don't do more, just thank you for making this. Oh, bugger. Damn it. I should have ended it. I should have ended it. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching.